Scandinavian today. I look forward to make the traditional Swedish rye bread called Linda. And usually around Christmas time, uh, it's a tradition to add different kinds of flavoring, like anise, caraway seeds, fennel, and usually orange peel. And uh, let's get going. For the limpa bread, I'm going to use the following ingredients. Four cups of rye flour, four and a half cup of whole wheat flour, two and a half cup of water, and then I have here one teaspoon of salt, I have half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of anise seed. And also about two tablespoons of butter. I have two tablespoons of grated orange peel. I have also half a cup of molasses and half a cup of brown sugar. And then I'm going to use two packages of dried yeast. Each of them have a quarter ounce in them. So let's mix it all up. Okay, so the first step is to pour in the molasses, the brown sugar, the anise, the salt, and then I'm taking the orange peel in there, the which I've been grinding. And uh, of course also all the seeds go in there. Then I'm also going to add two tablespoons of butter and then let's stir it up. Okay, now I can add one cupful of boiling water. So I now pour in the whole wheat flour and the rye flour and I'm speaking, I'll mix it all up and just keep mixing it in. And gradually I add some of the wheat flour. And eventually I'll knead it on the table. some more in. Little by little I add it all. Actually I might not eat completely add everything. Depends on how you know how thick it gets for me. But so far it's fine. So now I mix it by hand and in a little bit going to pour it all out on the table and keep mixing, uh, keep kneading it for, I would say, between 8 and 10 minutes. That should be fine. Okay. Here we have some more flour. I put some on the table. And I'll take it all out and knead it on the table now. It's easier than doing it in the bowl. It actually feels pretty nice. Well, I have to tell you, I only used three and a half cup of the whole wheat flour. I, if you use regular flour, I think the four cups would be fine. But in this case, I ended up with three and a half cups of the whole wheat flour. And now I'm going to let it raise for about an hour, one to one and a half hour. And then I'll punch it down and divide it into two loaves. So let's cover it up and keep it in a warm place. Well, the limpa bread has risen quite a bit now. And I'm ready to punch it down and I'm going to shave it into two loaves. So here we go. Beat it a little bit first. Okay, then I'm going to put it on the baking sheet. I already put butter on the baking sheet. 
and uh, as well as I had to flour it before I put the bread on there. I'll cut it in about half. Going to make two round loaves, loaves out of this. Okay, this one. Here's the other one. Mm -hmm. It does smell good. We really look forward to this. Okay, press it down a little bit. And put it on the sheet and here I'm going to cover it up again and let it raise for at least an hour probably maybe one and a half so I'm going to slice the limpa three times I'm going to brush it with a little bit butter and one of them I will um, also have caraway seeds on And here now they can go in the oven. So I sprinkle caraway seeds on the one bread. Okay, and it's ready to go in the oven 375 and at least at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes of bake it. So the bread is out of the oven and I'm not slicing it because I can't wait to taste this wonderful bread. It, the fragrance is fantastic. So now I have to taste it. Mmm, it's very, very delicious. Mm, I love it. Simply love it. The combination of the herbs, the seeds, the orange peel is absolutely great. Mmm, I look forward to having this basically every morning until it's gone. That's how good it is. And uh, I like it to eat it just without anything. But of course it tastes great with cheese or jams, honey in the morning for breakfast with a cup of coffee, scald, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care.